Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone in today's class for the sixth elementary grade. Our textbook is uh, Weekend 3, and today, inshallah, we will cover Unit 8 Lives, Ups and Downs, Phonics Practice on page 112. This lesson will be presented by me, Teacher Mazana Harbi, and the sign language by Mr. Fawaz Al Agil. So let's begin. Quick revision in our last lesson. In our last lesson, we did learn that sometimes we have words with different letters, but they share the same sound. And also, we did give a very well-known example. So here, as you can see here in this table, we can see three different sounds. Sounds with the letter F, G, uh, P, H, and gh and we say that although that these are different letters but they share the same sound so let's listen first to the words that you are about to uh, listen to and after this i would like you to repeat after me so we can all together again recognize the different sounds uh, from these words so the first word, as you can see here, is frog. Frog, say with me, frog. And the second one, fawn, fawn, fawn. And the third one, laugh, laugh, laugh. Very well. So here, here we do have three different words, but they share the same sound. The sounds of F here is frog, and the sounds of PH here is fawn, and the sounds of GH here is laugh, laugh. So this is a very interesting thing to learn, that although we have different letters but they share the same sound and the second thing we did last time is that we did answer this question where we needed to complete we needed to complete uh, uh, these words with either f or ph or gh so we did uh, made uh, make an example of the first one we said that, have a look at these letters and try to think of a word that has these letters. And what do you think? With, uh, which one or which letter or letters it starts with? Is it F or PH or GH? So we gave an example of the first one. We said that the first word is friends. And what we did is that we write the letter F here and then we went on and circled the letter. We went and we circled the letter. And here in number two. So uh, which one can you remember? What is the word of number two? The second word of number two is photo. Photo. The word photo. Does it start with F or PH or GH, what do you think? It is, of course, starts with PH. So here we go and write PH, and we're going to circle it here on the table. Now let's listen to the word of number three. The word of number three is elephant. Elephant. So what do you think? Elephant. Do you recall or remember how to write the word elephant? Do we write it with F or PH or GH? What do you think? Of course, we do write it with PH. So here we go, here and write PH, and we'll go over there and circle the PH. Now let us move on to the last one. The last one is laugh 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 so what do you think 
lab. Does it comes with F or PH or GH? It is of course comes with GH, lab. And now we go and circle it here on the table. So such exercises are important as it will help us to know or differentiate between the different uh, letters that share the same sound. Now, on number three last time, or the third exercise we did last time, is that we listen to our father and his son. And when the father talking and chanting with his son. But what is important here that the father shared with his son different words that have or that share the same sound. So let's chant this chant together and let's remind ourselves with the words we heard last time. So in this chant, Fumbra father, when he talked to his son, enough, don't laugh, I know it's tough, but it's lots of fun. Say with me, enough, don't laugh, I know it's tough, but it's lots of fun. So here we said that in this chant, we have words that share the same sound. Words like enough and the sounds of GH and laugh and tough and the, uh, the voice of uh, G and H. So all of these words ends with the same sound and even with the same letters. And as for the fourth exercise we had last time, we did uh, practice this exercise just to know the meaning of these three words. And how we can know a meaning of a word? We can if we read or if we know the sentence of each word. For example, what we did last time is we ask a simple question. If you uh, go to a restaurant and you are full and you don't need anything to eat, so what would you say? You would say, no, thank you, I don't want any more. It's enough or it's photo or it's funny. What do you think? What is the word that you would say when you are full, when you don't want any more to eat? you would use the first word. No, thank you, it's enough. Now, how about the second, uh, or the second uh, sentence? When you hear something uh, that make you laugh, that make you smile, what do you call this story? When you hear a story that made you laugh and made you smile, what do you call it? You would call it a photo, or you would call it, well, it's a funny story. It is indeed the word funny. Funny, it means that something makes you happy, makes you laughing, and makes you smiling all the time. And with number four, this is, will leave us with the last word we have, which is photo. Can I see your photo? You look really cool. This is what do you mean by photo which is something we all capture by using our phones or our cameras. So here you go. These were the answers that we, me and you, tried to answer last time from the fourth exercise. And what we also did in the last lesson, we had or we read an interesting story from Muhammad and the fun day he had with his uh, family. So let's just remind ourselves of this story and then we remind ourselves again what are the things that we said that we will do after reading this story. So Muhammad says that last time, yesterday we went to an adventure park. Our father drove us there. My sister and I saw some friends from school and played with them. Then we went on rides with our parents. 
It was great fun. After the ride, Dad got me a burger. My sister didn't want one, so he got her an ice cream. We were really good, so Dad promised to take us again next week. I can't wait. So here you go. This is the story or this is the fun day that Muhammad write about uh, when he went to an adventure park with his family. So what is the, require, the task that we had to do after reading this story? Which is to rewrite it again. But how we write, rewrite something that others did, uh, did write? Simple, by choosing to change the uh, pro, uh, object pronouns. Like for example, instead of Muhammad when he says that yesterday my father uh, or I went to an adventure and my father drove us here, we can make changes to the object pronouns. So we can say instead of my father, we can use their father. And instead of Muhammad when he said, my father drove us, we can say, rewrite it and talk about them, we can say, he drove them. And instead of saying, Muhammad when he says that, uh, me and my sister, we can change my sister to his sister. And we can do it also whenever we uh, hear the word or whenever we see the uh, pronoun my. So this is how we can rewrite a story by changing the object uh, pronouns. And as we can see here, here we have a list of the object pronouns that we can use. And now let's uh, get to know our objectives in today's lesson. We hope that at the end of this lesson you will be able to Point and say the key words with the letters uh, A and I and A and Y or the words that ends with A and Y and also E, A and E, E. So today, inshallah, we'll get to know more words that share the same letters. So I would like you now to open your books, uh, your books on page uh, 112. I would like you please to open your books on page 112. Now, on page 112, uh, we're going to listen to words that has what do we call the polite uh, vowels. So the first thing we will do is that we're going to listen to the teacher when he says these words and we're going to repeat again. And after this, we're going to point and say the key words so we can listen again and check. So, a quick reminder, the words that we are about to hear share the A, I letters and ends with A and Y and also has E, A and E, E. So let's start with the first one. The first one or the first word that has the A, uh, uh, A I sound is Rain, rain, say with me, rain, rain, very well, this is a picture of a rain. Now, let's move on to number two. Number two from the AI word is chain, chain, say with me, chain, very good. And the third one, the third word is a train. A train. Say with me, a train. And the fourth and the last one is, from the A, uh, I word is, a snail. A snail. Say with me, a snail. Very well. So this is about the words that has the A-I sound. Now let us move on to the second set of words, words that ends with A and Y. 
So the first word we have here is day. Day. Say with me, day. And we can come across this word in many of our days, like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and so on. The next word is, from the A-Y words is, hey, hey, say with me, hey, which is food for different animals, and then the month, which is May, May, May. And finally, the last word from this list of the A-Y word is, Highway, highway, say with me, highway, very well. So this is all about the words that ends with A and Y. Now let us move on to the second set of words that has the E-A sound. So the first one is peach, peach, say with me, peach. Peach, which is a fruit, a peach. And then we have meat, meat, meat. And we have seal, seal, say with me, seal, which is an animal which lives in a sea. And finally, we have reed. Read, read, very well. So this is also the last word of the EA uh, words. Now let us move on to the last uh, sets of words that has the EE -E, uh, letters. So the first word we have is weak, 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 very well, and Cheese, cheese, cheese. Green, green, green. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Very well. So all of these words from different sets of words are important for us so we can know how do they sound in different words. So at the end, it is important that we can point, we can say the word that has these uh, sets of letters. So now we have reached the end of our lesson. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.